how to send conversions to Google Ads tag, how to configure conversions for Google Ads using Pixel Your Site. It's super simple, but there are a few things you need to understand and you need to do in order for this to work. Uh, first of all, I will show you how to configure a conversion for uh, WooCommerce um, in order to track WooCommerce transactions and then how to configure conversion uh, for any event that you want to configure on your website to fire on your website and also something uh, interesting how to configure a conversion for just one WooCommerce product. So let's see how it works. Um, first of all, on this website, I already have the uh, Google uh, Ads remarketing tag installed using Pixel Your Site. Um, there is on this channel another video explaining explaining how to do this. Watch that if you um, didn't do it already. But for this part, what you need is to create a conversion inside Google Ads first. Go here, Tools, Conversions. And you have to select the category. Let's say it's a purchase. Okay, conversion name purchase. You can um, give it a name that you can uh, then recognize. In my case, I will call it purchase demo value. Um, if you are going to track dynamic values like um, WooCommerce transactions, use different values for each conversion. Count, you can select what you want here and create and continue. Now, uh, select this part right here, use Google uh, Tag Manager. We are not going to use Google Tag Manager, but we are going to take some keys, uh, something that is called conversion label. Actually, this is the part that we need, conversion label, copy, and now go inside the plugin and if you want to track uh, WooCommerce purchases as conversions, go to WooCommerce, go to track purchases and add the conversion label in this field. Now save. And the plugin will send um, a conversion every time a, a WooCommerce purchase is made. Uh, you can do something else. You can create your own event from the plugins events tab and uh, configure them as conversion. It's simple, add event. I'm not going to show you how to use everything because we have another video on this channel explaining how to configure events. So uh, you should, you need to configure the trigger. There are various triggers and then enable on Google ads. Uh, and you have to add the conversion label in this field. Okay, if you want, you can add a category, a label, a value, um, all the things that you want for your conversion. But the important thing is to select the uh, Google Ads tag. If you have multiple tags, select the one that will receive the conversion, the same one um, you have connected to this account and then add conversion label and save. So once you do this, this event will fire and will be uh, considered a conversion by Google Ads. Um, now, the last thing I want to show you is rather interesting. You can uh, have a conversion that will track just the particular WooCommerce product edit the product, go right here, enable conversion, add conversion label and save. Once you do this, the plugin will fire the conversion every time this product is bought by your client. If something else is in the cart, some other products are um, bought and this product is not in the cart, uh, the conversion will not be fired, so all the other products will be ignored, will not uh, trigger a conversion. 
Uh, in my example, I use the same conversion label, which will not be the case in reality. You, if you want to have multiple conversion, you need to configure each conversion here. And uh, take the label and use it accordingly. But I, I, I just wanted to show you where you need to add the conversion label. Uh, now, uh, this is unverified. You can, uh, in my case, I think I created, uh, I have added this as a um, WooCommerce conversion. So I should go inside, I should go on my website and uh, do a test transaction and this conversion will be verified. Uh, but another thing, uh, conversions must be related to uh, Google Ads. So if you have a lot of transactions, transactions, but none of them will come from Google Ads, Google will show you no conversions here. So this is another thing you should always remember. That's it. This is how you can create um, conversions, Google Ads conversions using Pixel Your Site. And um, thank you for watching. By the way, like this video and subscribe to the channel. It will help us a lot. Thank you again.